Welcome to Electron Line. Here again, we're going to find the curvature of a circle, of a curved, but in this case, a curve will be a circle, and we're going to use the equation that the curvature is equal to 1 over the magnitude of the velocity along the path of the curve times the derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to the parametric variable t, and here are the parametric equations we're going to use to describe the circle. What we do then is we find the position vector here with respect to the parametric variable t, and that's of course written like this, since the radius of the circle is equal to 2. And then we realize that the unit tangent vector can be defined as the derivative of the unit vector, or I should say position vector, divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector. So we take the derivative of this, which is here, and now we take the magnitude of that, we factor out a 2, and of course then if we take the square root of the, the square of the two terms, we get 1 underneath the radical times 2, we get this divided by 2, the 2's cancel out, and so this will then be the representation of the unit tangent vector of that circle. Now we need to find the derivative of that, because after all we're trying to find the curvature, which is the derivative of this with respect to the parametric variable, times 1 over the magnitude, and of course this is the magnitude of that, times 1 over the magnitude of the velocity along the path. The velocity can be defined as the derivative of the position vector, and then we take the derivative of the unit tangent vector, and you can see then that will then give us the curvature, so we take the derivative of this, which gives us the cosine of t, well, hang on a second, no, we take the derivative here, so it gives us this quantity right here, so we have negative the cosine of t in the i direction minus the sine of t in the j direction, that's taking the derivative of the quantity over here, will give us this, now we take the magnitude of that, and we divide it by the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector, which we have already over here, so we take this, put it in the denominator, we take the magnitude of that in the numerator, these two portions here turn into 1, so we end up with 1 over 2, the exact same value we got as we did in the previous video, except in the previous video we had the derivative with respect to s, or in other words, the parametric variable we used was the s variable, the what we call the arc length along the curve. In this case, we're going to use the parametric variable t to define the uh, position vector, and from that we get the exact same value for k. So it works either way, either equation is just fine to find the curvature, and that's how it's done.